How to get back your disabled or deactivated Instagram account? There's honestly one thing that works, so I'm gonna keep it short because there are a lot of YouTube videos. The first thing I wanna say is there is a difference between a hacked Instagram account and a deactivated Instagram account. If you wanna know how I got my hacked Instagram account back two years ago, you can go to my blog. I will link the blog article in the video description down below. If you wanna know how I got my deactivated Instagram account back in just one week, I will explain. So what is a disabled or deactivated Instagram account? Um, one day I was posting a picture and I received a notification to say that I needed to verify it was me. So I needed to do this robot capture thing where you need to indicate all the traffic lights. Then I received a new notification um, and I needed to put in a verification code of the verification app. Then I needed to fill in another code that was sent to my phone. And then I got another notification saying that they would check the information and in 24 hours normally my account would return. I was a bit in shock because I did not do anything wrong. So yeah, I decided not to panic yet and just to wait it out um, until the next day. Of course, after 24 hours, my um, account did not get back. Um, when I tried to log in, I got a notification saying my Instagram account was deactivated because I violated the terms of service because I claimed to be someone else. Which was a total surprise to me because I have over 2,800 pictures in this account with my face on it and it has been my account for over 10 years. So I was shocked, I panicked um, and there was a button which said appeal. So I push the button and then a form um, appears in which you can uh, fill in your name, I think also your phone number, your username and a field where you need to explain why they need to reactivate your Instagram account. Now I have a travel blog, so I also have a website with a server. I uploaded a picture of my passport without the passport number and my signature. I uploaded also a picture of me holding the passport. So I um, added those links into the explanation fields and I also um, wrote something like my lawyer agrees that I did not violate any terms of service, please reactivate my Instagram account. Now how did I get my Instagram account reactivated? I'm going to be honest, there's only one way to get it back. You can fill in all the forms that I linked down below you can try to find uh, email addresses that I also will link down below. You can try uh, the Facebook live chat support, but since I am in Belgium, I, I am from Belgium, it did not appear. So I think this feature does not exist in Belgium. So if you live in the United States, I am sure you can try to find the Facebook live chat support and try to, f to find like an actual human, human being to speak with um, over there. But the only thing that really works is finding a real life person working for Instagram or Facebook. Now, I do not know anyone personally uh, working at Facebook or Instagram myself. So what did I do? I spread the word. I um, told my story to my friends, to my family, and I shared it in all the Facebook groups I am a member of. Now, I'm a travel blogger, so I'm also a member of Facebook groups of trainings that I followed with other travel bloggers, um, social media trainings that I followed. So there are actually a lot of Americans in there. So I was lucky that at a certain point there was a girl reacting, yes, I work for Instagram, if you want, I can file an internal ticket because internal tickets get treated faster than external tickets. So I was so happy to find this girl. So I sent her a private message and told her the story again and she said she would file a ticket and that she would be late responding because she was traveling. Now, the thing is, don't get pushy, be patient, stay polite, if you fight someone, don't keep spamming them, just wait it out. Because these people don't owe you anything, they don't know you. So if they are so kind to react to your message, just trust them that they will help you. 
I know this is hard, I am really not the most patient person at all. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just waited it out because I knew she was traveling and I just wanted to respect her. So a few days later, um, I did not hear from her yet. So I just sent her a, a short kind message like, hey, did you already get some um, response? I hope you enjoy our travels, um, kind regards, something like that. And I just waited it out. In the meantime, I kept um, filling in the reports, um, appealing 10 times a day. And then suddenly on a Friday morning, I got a message from one of my followers saying that I got my account back. And I tried to log in, it worked, I got my account back. So I messaged the girl and I said, did you actually indeed file the ticket? And she said, yes, I prioritized the ticket and I'm happy that your account is back. So I thanked her a million times and I'm so happy now because I got my account back. It was just in time for the Travel Blog Awards so I could network again and all my press trips are organized now. So yeah, I am one lucky girl. I realize that. So yeah, that's my one big tip for you. Keep researching, keep spreading the word. Um, try to find someone via LinkedIn. I tried that as well. It did not work for me because I even found a Belgian guy um, working in high places at Meta, but he did not want to help me. Maybe your story will convince him. I don't know. But I cannot share the name of the girl who helped me out because I don't want her inbox to be spammed. I mean, even my inbox is already full of people begging, please help me out um, with my deactivated Instagram account. I understand guys, I feel your pain. Um, so that's why I am sharing this video. It's the only tip I can give, um, but I'm not going to share her name because all these people have lives and I, I, it's, it's impossible for them to solve the problem for everyone. There are hundreds, probably a thousands of people working at Facebook or Instagram. So try to find your own person. I am sure you will find someone who is willing to help you out. And yeah, that's the only way to get your Instagram account back in a fast way. Um, I think the forms will help you as well, but maybe you need to wait a little longer then. I hope I will never have to make this kind of video ever again. And I hope um, that your problem will be solved as quick as possible. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and see you next time in a travel video. Bye-bye.